We're gonna try the blue Takis blue heat now. It's probably backwards, but yeah, it's backwards. You can see extreme right up there. Oh yeah, on the top. It's extreme level. <laughs> so we're gonna try these. All right, go for it. I hope these don't burn coming out. <laughs> uh, uh. What's up, guys? Welcome to another epic episode of J Philly Retro Toys. Guys, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for clicking onto this video and coming along with us. Us. For another toy hunting adventure, guys. I got Steven with me today. Um, he's just riding along. We were, uh, my, my plans got kind of derailed today. So, uh, he was like, dad, you want to go over to Walmart? So guys, we're at Walmart right now. We're going to do a little retail toy hunting today. Uh, at least for the first part of the video, uh, we're going to go into Walmart here. I was telling Steven, if you guys didn't watch, um, the podcast, uh, that, well, that effing figures podcast that I was on recently, my boy Burf from 80s Toys Rock, uh, surprised us on there and he was a special guest with us so that was a lot of fun and Burf actually found probably the deal of the century at his Walmart guys he found like the brand new uh, Spider-Man figures that just came out like a month and a half ago at his Walmart on clearance for two dollars a piece two dollars a piece can you believe it uh -uh. <laughs> guys we're gonna go in here I'm I don't know if I'm gonna find these for two dollars a piece or, I mean, probably not. My Walmart never has jack squat. Sucks. It does suck. My, my Walmart doesn't ever have anything, uh, like I was telling the guys the other night. But uh, we're going to go in here. We're going to look at the clearance toys. Um, we'll look at the regular toys. We'll look at the collectibles. Um, you know, see if they have anything. I don't really anticipate buying anything in here today, but you never know. You know, we'll see what they got. Let's go look. All right, Wally World. I would love to find some $2 Spider-Man figures in here. Make it happen. Make it so. As Captain Picard says, make it so. All right, guys. So we found the clearance aisle. We'll, uh, we'll look up and down through here and uh, show you guys what we find. And we got some $7 puzzles. <laughs> got some Fortnite gun for $9. Um, what'd you get, dog food? All right, Steven got some dog food. What is this? It's a Jurassic World LED mood light. Okay, that's kind of funky looking. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of funny. And nothing really, guys. I'm seeing some, some dolls. Uh, just some junk. $3 for Imaginex light year stuff. Um, I think that's about it, guys, for my clearance section. What's this? Magic Mixies. Huh. Uh, there's some Eternals for 10 bucks. Still way, way too much for those. <laughs> uh, what are those? Kites? Maybe? Oh, yeah, kites. Yeah. Got some kites. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I did find uh, one Origins Panther with the realistic fur, like the flocking, for 15 bucks. Um, I feel like that's not too bad of a price, but again, I don't collect uh, Origins stuff. These things are weird. It's just like a plushie or something. Megatron plush. Huh. Alright, well, clearance section didn't have crap. But, uh, I got the Ninja Turtles display over here. Let's see what's over here. Oh, look, they got all the, uh, the masks and the play sets. That's cool. Bikes, Ninja Kick Cycle. Oh, that's cool. The Turtles in Disguise Party Pack. That's cool. Uh, 
what's this? I got a Monopoly game down here. What else I got? I got, uh, that's not turtle stuff. Oh yeah, here's more turtle stuff over here. I got Donatello, Raphael, he's my favorite one. Michelangelo, <laughs> these are cool. I got Seth freaking Rollins, Money in the Bank. Wow, that's old. Oh, that's the greatest hits. Huh, yeah, cool stuff. These new turtle figures are great. Huh. Oh, there it is right there. The pizza launch in action. <laughs> That's cool. All right, guys. Well, we got a lot of uh, a lot of Transformers on the shelves today. Look at these. I'm not a huge Transformers guy, but Steven is. He's loving all this stuff. This is on clearance for $22. That's cool. Starscream. Alright, well we got lots of Transformers from the new movie, Rise of the Beasts. Those are pretty cool. Find anything good? How do they make this shit? I don't know. More Transformers up there on top. Got lots of JP, JW, I guess. <laughs> I still call it JP. Um, oh, look. Are these the guys? No, those aren't the guys that were $2 that he found. This is on clearance for 17 bucks. Oh, that's pretty good. Is it? Are these the ones? No, these aren't the ones that he found for $2. Um, let's see. Anything else cool over here? I got some uh, DC figures. And something that was on sale right there. What does that say? Oh, Batmobile. Was on sale. I got some Marvel Legends. That red skull looks cool. It looks like most of the clearance stuff is all been picked over and gone. Look, there's a clearance tag there. There's a clearance tag there. There's a clearance tag there. Yeah, most of the clearance is gone, I think. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, look at that Chewbacca. That's awesome. That guy's huge. Let's see, they got Riva, the third sister. Oops. They got the fifth brother. They got Lando's. Cassian Andor. Got a few more up here. Got Bib. Uh, Lando, Lando, Wicket back there. Those are cool. I got some Elite Series 100, Becky Lynch. That face sculpt is terrible. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Got Big E, John Cena, Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels' greatest hits. Looks okay. Uh, we got some DDP back here. <laughs> oh, the Undertaker. That looks cool. That's a cool one. That Undertaker, Cena, Shawn Michaels, Baron Corbin, um, King Harley Race. Oh, let me look at that one. Wow, that's a cool figure, guys. This is my generation right here. King Harley Race. That's an awesome figure. There we got a Zelina Vega, Rhonda, nah, <laughs> Cena, Cena. Got some AEW figures up here. Nah. Um, some Beyblades play sets down there. More Beyblade stuff. Some Mario and some Minecraft, some Pokemon. Eh, yeah, nothing I need. I got lots of cool Lego sets. Look at that. That's awesome. Um, let's see. 
Marvel Spider-Man Final Battle, that's cool. Uh, Jurassic. Uh, I know the Star Wars is down here somewhere. Got Ninjago sets. Lego City. There we go, Star Wars. Super Destroyer. That's awesome. That's awesome. Trash compactor. I love these Star Wars Lego sets. Got the Inquisitor transport ship down there. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, we found some more Marvel Legends. Steven's looking at these. This is the line that Burr found for $2 a piece. Right here. But I don't see a tag. I don't know if these are on sale at mine or not. Anyway, he found some more Marvel Legends over here. They got an Iron Man. They got a, who's this? Miss Marvel. Uh, some other Spider-Man stuff. Oh, there's some more down there. Who's that, Ultron? Oh, that's cool. Alright guys, so we're over here at the uh, collectibles section. I've got some Toony Terrors. These are cool. I always like these. Got Pennywise. Nobody I need though. These Gremlins NECA figures are so awesome. Invisible Man. Uh, let's see, who else do they have? Some Spawn. Gunslinger Spawn. They got Dr. Fate. Oh, they got Razal Ghoul, the gold label. That's a cool one. Kind of a cool figure. Um, I got that Gremlins 2-pack down there. Uh, that's about it. And of course they got the Funko Pop section. Nothing here that I need, but I uh, figured I would show it in case uh, any of you guys want to look at it. Oh look, there's the new Turtles movie, Splinter. It's kind of funny. See, got Britney Spears down here, Jimi Hendrix, and some gingerbread dudes. Steven found some more uh, NECA figures. Oh wow, look at that. Holy crap, that's bad looking Mammy Jammer right there. Cool. I also got Pan's Labyrinth down there, some ETs. I still want both of those ET NECA figures. Someday, someday I'll get them. Look at this, this is cool. I always like these. Def Leppard album cover, the Funko Pops. All right, well, it's Halloween time, guys. <laughs> these are, uh, these are cool. It's the, the horror collections. Carry three film collection, Beetlejuice and Gremlins, Gremlins 2, got the thing, vampires, uh, Jeepers Creepers, Critters, Final Destination, Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream. That's cool. But what I'm interested in is this. That is freaking awesome. Season one, Beetlejuice. Huh. How much is that? 10 bucks? Yeah, 10 bucks. Not a bad price. All right, guys, so that was Walmart. Um, yeah, not a whole lot in there. There were a couple things that I probably would have picked up if I, you know, if I felt like spending some money today. <laughs> uh, that King Harley Race WWE figure was awesome. Uh, they had a couple of uh, Black Series that I need, Chewbacca. Wicket, you know, a couple things I, I would have picked up, but they didn't have anything on clearance really that I wanted. Steven did pick up something. Let me show you what he got. So Steven got another Nerf style gun. It's not Nerf. What is it? X-Shot? Zuru, Zuru X-Shot. X -Shot. Pretty cool. It's a lock blaster. I guess you can set a combination lock on that. So it, uh, it has a specific lock. Oh, it has a lock on it already? Yeah. A number? All right. Well, that's cool. He wants to lock his uh, little cousins out from using his guns, <laughs> right? They don't need to be using something like this. That's pretty awesome. We also got some uh, some Takis. 
we're gonna do the we're gonna try out the takis challenge i don't know if you guys have seen these guys on uh instagram that and youtube that do these takis no reaction challenge <laughs> but we're gonna try the uh takis blue heat and the takis fuego right now let's go right, so we got our uh we got our drinks ready i got my pepsi zero sugar steven got a mountain dew let's see what are we gonna do here Get try the, the try this one first all right let's open these up guys what is that is that that's the red that's fuego the fuego all right so we're gonna do fuego and then we're gonna do blue heat all right let's see oh wow these are pretty red and they're lime oh shoot all right so we got uh takis fuego here let's try it just put it all in your mouth go for it put the whole thing in that's pretty hot. Oh, the lime kind of cools it down a little bit. What do you think? It's not no that bad. <laughs> <coughs> I said it's not that bad, and then I took a breath, and like, it went down my throat. They're actually pretty good. Got to show them that it's actually in your mouth. They see me put it in my mouth. Well, you I'm not gonna cut it out. I'm not gonna show food <laughs> in my mouth. Um, but yeah, the red ones aren't that bad. I kind of like the chili flavor. I mean, the yeah, lime. the chili lime. Not bad. They're not that hot. Let's try the blue next. All right, guys. So we've uh, we've refreshed our palates with our drinks. We're gonna try the blue Takis blue heat now it's probably backwards but yeah it's backwards you can see extreme right up there oh yeah on the top it's extreme level <laughs> so we're gonna try these all right go for it these, i hope these don't burn coming out <laughs> uh, all right. i think i've tried that other kind before the fuego but i've never tried these blue heat ones all right ready there we go. That's not that bad at all. Was yours? Let's try another one. Maybe it's uh I'll give you a dollar if you eat like twelve of these in one bite. Twelve? I don't know if I can do that. Okay, six. Yeah, like that. There's six. Like the dude on the on the channel. Go for it. Those are not hot at all, really. I don't think. Do you? Hmm? Are they hot? Um eating them multiple ones like that oh yeah those aren't those aren't bad but these actually taste a little less hot than the red ones to me all right so takis thumbs up or thumbs down two thumbs up awesome all right guys so that was walmart um our trip yesterday from walmart hope you enjoyed that uh tried to get a good you know balanced footage for you guys to show you what all was there <coughs> excuse me i don't really do too many retail toy hunts um not a lot of times do i find anything that i'm looking for in the retail stores i don't collect a lot of retail stuff um but uh, i hope you enjoyed that little bit of little bit of look there i guess um they actually had some decent stuff there this time they had some some cool wrestlers some cool star wars some cool dvds and neca collectibles and things like that not a whole lot of clearance, but that's okay. We'll keep looking. I'm going to try to sprinkle in a few more uh, retail stores in my toy hunt videos here um, going forward. So, uh, guys, just to wrap up the video, I did want to show you two things that I got in the mail. Um, guys, this first thing I actually won as a giveaway on Whatnot. And I'm thinking about uh, my upcoming 500 subscriber giveaway. Once we reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway on my own channel here for you guys. Uh, I know 500 seems like, you know, it's crazy to think about that right now. I'm at about 368 to 370, something like that right now. Um, but I feel like 
it's going to be here before I know it. Um, we're growing pretty well. Thanks to you guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys sharing the channel, you know, telling your friends and family about it, putting it on your Facebook pages, putting it on your Instagrams. Guys, please, if you don't mind, keep doing that for me. That is the, how my channel is going to get to 500 and then get to 1,000 and then take over the world. No. <laughs> then, uh, you know, keep growing after that. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to you guys coming along with me for that ride and for that adventure. But anyway, as we get closer to that, I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm going to, what I'm thinking of doing right now is doing like a giveaway bundle, um, like th at least three or four things, maybe five things, um, as a bundled package that I'm going to give to someone as a, as a prize, uh, just for being a subscriber and a supporter to my channel. Um, so anyway, the first thing I got, I got this in the mail, um, is this Star Wars Boba Fett Funko Pop. I don't know, you know, if any of you guys like Funko Pops, um, if you like Star Wars, this would be cool to just put on your desk at work. Uh, the box is in mint condition for all you box collectors out there. So that, uh, I got in the mail. I'm going to include, that's going to be my first thing that I've picked up for this bundle that I'm building for my 500 subscriber giveaway. So again, stay tuned as we get closer. I'll give you guys more details about that and show you the prizes that you could win for that. Um, the second thing I get, uh, I got this week was also a giveaway, but it's something I'm keeping for myself, guys. Uh, believe it or not, I actually won this King Grayskull Motu Masterverse figure, brand new, sealed in the box as a whatnot giveaway prize. I couldn't believe it. I was the winner of this because I, you know, I'm going pretty good now on my Motu Masterverse collection. This was one that I needed. If you guys saw my last video at the uh, Half Off store. I kind of just glazed over King Grayskull because I knew I had already won this. Uh, I wasn't going to pick up an, another one, obviously. But uh, again, I'm I'm super happy that this came in the mail this week. It is brand new, sealed. Um, I don't even care about that. I'm just going to take it out and put it with my other figures, which you probably can't see. They're on the next shelf up. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, um, yeah, guys, those were my two giveaway wins that came in the mail this week. I just wanted to share those with you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done those three, those three things yet. Um, give me a, you know, leave me a comment, guys. I love talking to you. Let me know what you thought about the retail toy hunt today, um, in this episode. Let me know what you thought about my giveaway wins. Uh, if you picked up anything this week, tell me what you got. Uh, I'd love to talk to you guys. Again, please feel free to like and share the channel. Um, post it all over your Instagrams. Post it on your Facebooks. Um, post the links everywhere, guys. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, this will be a Sunday video, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Later.